coming up. Tonight, a former Carolina Panthers football player arrested for speeding in Columbia. Also, Alaskan governor loses a bet to South Carolina. And two bodies in a ticket was found near the Air French crash site. All the stories and more next. This WJTW News Channel 11 HD broadcast is brought to you by the News Force Network, the number one source for local and national news. Visit the News Force Network at wjtwnews.webs.com. Live from Studio 11 in Columbia, you're watching WJTW News Channel 11 HD, the Riverbank region's first and only newscast in high definition. I'm Julius Williams. Tonight's top story, a former Carolina Panther football player is in trouble with the law this Sunday. Columbia police officers say that they pulled over Brandon Jameson early Sunday morning around 3.50 a.m. at they checked his speed on Devine Street and found him traveling at close to 70 miles per hour. Jameson gave the officers verbal consent to search his car. Investigators say that they found a 40 caliber handgun and, a, and proceeded to arrest him. There will be no strip and grits for Alaskan Governor Sarah Palin. She owes South Carolina's Governor Mark Sanford some king salmon for, from her home state. The two Republican governors rumored that aspiration for the 2012 GOP presidential nomination bet on an ECHL Kelly's Cup final between the Alaskan Aces and the South Carolina Stingrays. The Stingrays won their third Kelly's Cup on Friday, defeating the Aces 4-2 and a deceiving game in Anchorage. So Sanford wins some Alaskan King Salmon. Had the Aces won, Sarah Palin would have received shrimp and grits and crab soup from the tri stand restaurant in Charleston. Searchers have found two bodies in the Atlantic Ocean near where Air, Air France jet is believed to have crashed. A Brazilian military official said on Saturday, Air Force spokesman George Amaral says searchers, searchers also recovered a leather briefcase with an Air France ticket for a flight inside of it. It was confirmed with Air France that the ticket number corresponds to a passenger on the flight, he said. Flight 477 disappeared Sunday with 288 people on board and officials believe there were no survivors. The two male bodies were recovered Sunday morning about 70 kilometers or 45 miles south of Air, Air Flight 477 emitted its last signal. Roughly 400 miles or 640 kilometers northeast of Fernando de Norahan Islands off of Brazil's coast. Coming up, a 23 year old South, Car uh, South Dakota rancher claims $232.1 million in Powerball jackpot money. And also, the Global Watch HD forecast. On the next Speak Up Columbia, roads, we use them every day, but a lot of roads in downtown are incomplete or damaged without repair. So what can we do about it? Next time on Speak Up Columbia. A 23-year-old rancher whose family has fallen behind in their taxes and recently had a mobile home repossessed, claimed a $232.1 million, million dollar Powerball jackpot on Friday, one of the largest undivided jackpots in U.S. lottery history. Neil Wilson, who lives on his family's 320-acre ranch near Mission, South Dakota, brought the winning ticket and in his nearby town of winning late last month during a trip to buy livestock feed. He will, will take, he will take home $88.5 million in lump sum of payment after taxes are deducted. Now for your Global Watch HD forecast. Now from Global Watch Supercenter, this is your Global Watch HD forecast, powered by AccuWeather. On Monday, from Monday through Thursday, we have party cloudy skies. On Monday, a high of 89, a low of 70. On Tuesday, a high of 88, a low of 70. On Wednesday, a high of 87, a low of 70. And on Thursday, a high of 80, a low of 69. And on Friday, expect showers and thunderstorms with a high of 88. Thanks for watching this edition of Business Adjustment Channel 11.
visit our website at www.web.com or you can follow us at twitter.com slash www.nc11. Good night and see you next time.